President Reagan today called the downing of an Iranian airliner by American missiles yesterday a tragic but understandable accident. And he declared there will be no change in the U.S. policy of protecting shipping in the Persian Gulf. Iran called the attack murder, a savage and ruthless crime. Well, I think it was an understandable accident to shoot and think that they were under attack from that plane. <laughs> All 290 passengers and crew members aboard Iran Air Flight 655 died after the craft was shot down by two missiles from an American cruiser on duty in the Persian Gulf. I won't minimize the tragedy. We all know that it was a tragedy. Our shot was fired as the result of a radar screen of a plane approaching it at quite a distance. And so far, Congress has refused to invoke the War Powers Act, which would require congressional authorization of U.S. naval presence in that region. The issue now is whether the horrifying images of this July 4th are going to raise new doubts about the intentions and the costs of our policy. I'm Jeff Greenfield for Nightline in New York. A little later, we'll be talking to Iran's ambassador to the United Nations, Mohammad Jafar Mahalati. This was an act, pure act of terrorism. Uh, it, it is an international moral outrage. The government of the Islamic Republic of Iran considers this a premeditated act of aggression and a premeditated cold-blooded murder. I'll never apologize for the United States of America, ever. I don't care what the facts are. I will lead her. I will do my level best. I will not apologize for America. Wouldn't it be nice if we had leaders like Ronald Reagan and George Bush 